In 2012, Craig Kielberger Secondary School in Milton, Ontario was opened, named after the founder of Free the Children. The school, which currently holds 1,500 students, continues to grow every year, as well as their music program, including the CKSS Concert Choir, run and formed by Kendra Chow. So the CKSS Concert Choir uh, began two years ago. I, I came to this school, Craig Kielberger, uh, two years ago, and we started off with a six-person choir at the very beginning, and then now we're up to about 47. So it's made up of students from grades 9 through 12 um, and it's open to everybody. Nobody needs to have any experience which is the the beauty of it. Um, and then now here we are with 47 people and hopefully it's going to continue growing. It's the same way that into a festival. Everything has to be rounder. Okay. As the choir continues to grow each semester, Kendra continues to take them to vocal festivals, competitions, and shows all around Halton and Toronto. One of them last year, which was Ontario Vocal Festival, in which their performance was ranked silver. Ah, so last year was the first time we ever went to um, OVF, or did any festival of that sort. Uh, so at OVF, we went and we were, you know, the students did an amazing job, and they got invited to nationals, so nationals that year was in Toronto, which was in May. Um, so the silver wasn't quite, uh, wasn't re we didn't receive it at OVF. We actually received the silver at the national competition, and uh, yeah, and that was, well, that was just awesome. Like we were not expecting um, to get a silver for the very first time that we actually went to a festival. So that was uh, definitely a very very good start to what I like to think of as many more years of festivals and, and um, uh, competitions to come. With many upcoming shows and performances, the choir is working hard. They meet every Wednesday and rehearse for an hour and a half doing strange vocal warm-ups, which help them sing better and rehearse their pieces. So in the first year, two years ago when we started, and you were in that too, um, we were singing some music that was maybe not quite as challenging, and now we are uh, now we're singing music that a lot of high schools don't get a chance to because one they don't have enough singers um, that can sing all of the different parts, and two they don't have singers that are as, are as committed or dedicated. So basically, it's mainly just repertoire and. Um, uh, and honing in really on those skills and hopefully if we continue to grow then we can have like a junior choir and we can have a senior choir and then that will just push students even further because the expectations are going to be increasingly higher from year to year. Much like Kendra, many of her students think choir is a rewarding part of their day. Um, I would say the biggest impact choirs had on me is like the sense of community we have as a choir because it feels like I have this big 50 person uh, family who I just get to make music with once a week and that's a really great feeling to have. I think choir has impacted me in that like it helped me grow as a musician. I know a lot more about music than I did before and loving singing just makes me love it more when I'm more developed as a musician. For Kendra, working with the choir is a rewarding experience. From week to week I do definitely look forward to rehearsing with the choir. Um, but it's not just choir, it's that I see the students outside of rehearsal and, and working with them, one, it's an incredible thing to make music with students that just love music, right? They don't even necessarily have the experience um, uh, coming into the group, but then just seeing that, you know, something that not everyone can make, these students create it with just their voices, and that is an amazing thing. For more information on the choir's upcoming shows, you can go to their blog spot. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Emily Elliott.